Sayangda, Ms. Samatha Danford, please. Thank you. I'd like to start with a story. I recently arrived here in Hong Kong, and one of my first few days here, I was sitting in a cab. We were stopped at some traffic lights. An old man crossed the road just in front of the cab. He was carrying a six-pack of beer in one of those plastic bags you get at the supermarket, which are made for fruit and vegetables, the ones with no handles. Before he made it to the other side, the bag broke. One can of beer drops onto his foot, another drops onto the road and explodes. I didn't think much of this at the time, other than that poor man's bad luck. When I recounted this story to a colleague at the Lion Rock Institute later in the week, he informed me the reason the man was using the incorrect bag was because of the levy the government had placed on the traditional two-handled plastic bags. The reason I tell this story is to remind the government of the abysmal failure of the plastic bag levy. The Lion Rock Institute defiantly opposed this levy and was a lone voice in doing so. The Lion Rock Institute considers itself a friend of the administration, and friends do not let friends go home with bad men or bad advice. The advice we offer is this. The municipal waste charging scheme will go either one of two ways. It will hurt or it will not. If it doesn't hurt, it will not change behaviour. This is what the government professes to be its objective. So then this simply becomes a revenue-raising exercise. Currently, the Hong Kong government holds over $7 billion in fiscal reserves. Therefore, a revenue-raising exercise is unnecessary. If it does hurt, the advice we offer, as friends of the administration, is that this is political suicide. Our forecast is this. Once public opinion bounces against this policy, the environmental groups will disappear, just as they did with the plastic bag levy. We liken this policy to the government putting a gun in their mouth and deciding they like the taste of bullets. I would like to conclude by noting there's no winning outcome here. The plan which the Lion Rock Institute proposes is for Hong Kong to export landfill. As land in Hong Kong is scarce, we should export our landfill technology to a place where land is not as valuable. The home country would be able to use the landfill for free and reap the benefits of our advanced technology. The municipal waste charging could be used to subsidise this, but we do not see this as necessary, as if it has no effect on behaviour, the government might as well use a small portion of the fiscal reserves to fund this. Thank you.